Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Pirate Master Murdoch. In today's video we're going to be covering Ship Logs 40, which is all about the Forgotten Gods, which is this lovely event graphic that you get when you open up the game. So let's go over it, I'll tell you everything you need to know about it so you don't have to read through the docs. First things first, you're going to want to collect tablets by completing the quest Finding the Lost or the Bounty Remembering the Forgotten. I'll show you where both of those are in just a minute. After that, you want to loot, use the tablets for bounties to find idol pieces, and then three, you want to craft idol pieces to create a complete idol. And then four, that's where you can win, where the god with the most complete idols wins. The one player who crafts the most idols of the winning god gets a spiffy prize. Every player who crafts more idols of the winning god than the others gets an idol decoration. So it looks like, just from the quick glance, that we are going to be competing with each other on picking which idol piece we want to create. Alright, here we are at the docks for the Forgotten Gods event. You can see we already kind of did a quick overview of all of this stuff on how to get all of the assembly idols and everything. We also talked about how the Forgotten God fraction with the most completed idols at the end of the event will be declared the winner. And you might be wondering, what do you win? Well, here are the rewards and prizes for first, second, and third place. So make sure to take a quick screenshot of this or you can click into the docs and find the page and read all of this. And you'll also notice that there is some other kind of lore and stuff put in here. I'll let you guys read that on your own time. That way I don't bore you guys with my amazing voice. But again, I am going for the dealer. So make sure you also go for the dealers. That way we can win. I am 100% going the degen way. All of the DGENs love to gamble, it's right there. So if you're a DGEN, I hope you're going for the dealer. If not, you're going to lose, just straight up. All right, so now that I am in the game, let's start off with the bounty. So if we go into your bounties, you want to scroll all the way down until you get to this bounty right here. You'll know that it's a Forgotten God's bounty because it has FG in it, remembering the Forgotten, and you can put up to 20 pirates in it. I only have one pirate available. All of my others are on a bounty already. So I'm putting one in. It looks like you have an equal chance of getting all three tablets, which means it's gonna be hard picking which one you want to get, which makes it a chance game. So try to do this as quickly as possible. As soon as you do this video, literally stop the video right now and go do this bounty immediately. There's five hours and three weeks. If you want to be the number one player, you need to do this. I am doing this right now just so I can have a chance of competing. I don't know what will happen if you put more than one pirate in. I don't think it will speed up the time of the bounty. So I feel like it's only worth it to throw one pirate in for this bounty, but I could be wrong. I'll find out in five hours when I have an alarm to go off to do this again. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go into your quests, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is go up into the search bar and type in FG. And FG will bring up the one quest you need. It's called the Forgotten, Forgotten Gods Finding the Lost. You can see it can be done once every 11 hours, cost 15 energy and 100 pirate gold. And again, you get a 33% chance. So I quickly need to use rum so I can do this quest. Okay, now that I've rummed up, I'm gonna do this quest. We're going to see what I get in the very first one. And this could be the idol that I go for. So this quest could decide what I get. Wow, that was really fast. Let's see here, we got the dealer's tablet. All right, so once you're done this quest and you did the other bounty, you actually wanna go back to the other bounties and you actually wanna type in FG again and it'll give you all of the Forgotten Gods bounties. So as you can see here, I did this first one here without even realizing there was other ones that gives me a 33% chance of getting all of them. If we look at this next one, this is the one where it gets you the idle parts and you can see it uses the one you need takes 30 minutes. So make sure you have a pirate available to do that. And then you can see they have one for the other ones. 
So with this one, you can put in one, one tablet and get the other two. So you can really farm out which ones you want to do. And then it's the same thing with this one. For the Brotherhood, this one gives you a chance of getting the actual idols that you need to craft. And then this one, it gives you a chance of getting more idols. So pretty much the Brotherhood Salty Dogs and to the chance are the ones you want to do to get the idol pieces. You got to make sure you get all three so you can craft them into the idol. And then all of the other ones, pretty much you can turn one tablet into the other two. It's 50-50 chance. So you can really kind of configure out which one you want to do and just grind that out and do as many as you can. You will need a lot of time and a pirate to do all of this. So make sure you use your pirate wisely and plan out what you do before you do that. So once you get all three of your idle totems, what you want to do is you actually want to go to the crafting menu, go all the way to the bottom. You'll see the completed idols. You'll see you need all three of the idol pieces. And once you have that, you can craft whichever idol you want to do. I am probably going to be going for this one right here, the dealers. So if you would like to join me and try to complete the dealer one first, you're more than welcome to, but if not, I warn you, if you're doing the other two, your team might lose. But that being said, I could always end up switching teams later on. So stay posted in the Discord. That way we can kind of coordinate and everyone can kind of work together and help each other out. All right, one last quick little thing is if you go into your inventory and you click on your dealer's tablet, you'll notice that they're all soul bound, which means even if you have more than one account, you can't really farm them. So that's really good because that means people with multi wallets aren't going to be just sending them all to one wallet. So it's literally one wallet worth of doing it, which makes it extremely hard and cool. So make sure you grind out whichever one you want and hopefully you are part of the winning team, which is going to be the dealer's tablet, by the way. Alrighty, that covers pretty much everything you need to know about Ship Blogs 40. There are a few other stuff that you can read on your own if you check the release logs which again will be linked below in the description if you're watching this on youtube but the main gist of it is this new event the forgotten gods is something you really really want to do and you really want to grind out and you really 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 want to get those dealers tablets and make the dealers idle because that's the one i'm going for not to push it on you but you should follow me all right with that i will see you guys in the next video and i hope you guys enjoyed this ship logs Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr